need to go now. Is it fine now? Is this place lit up? Thank you. I need more tinder boxes. I straight up need more tinder boxes. I don't remember those being there. At least not not particularly. It won't budge. I see you in there. What are you doing? Damn it. Is this what I do? I just need to blow it up? Is that Jesus lady, calm down. Uh blah blah. Na na na, rubber from the cave, find a way to get through. You know what I'm gonna do instead? Is I'm gonna go back up and deal with whatever the hell the wind was trying to tell me. Back on through to the other side. No issues. No problems. All pro All problems are gonna be taken care of. No, no pain. Back hall. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather would be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he han he could handle. Kind of different from being out in the uh, Africa, right? Perfect. Yep. Oh, that's closed now. Huh. I should probably explore this place. Oh. Boss. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Does this thing work? Is this even a smart idea? I was about to do something. I... I should look around first. You have an ascending route. Crescendo. It's locked. God damn it. I should probably activate all the doors before I go anywhere. Arrow. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. Yep, yeah, I've been sleep deprived long enough. Time to go into some weird, like, non-sleep stasis. Oh, fun. I'm hearing dogs again. Okay. So this is the study, huh? Should I even be here? I feel like I shouldn't be. I'm out of tinder boxes, out of oil, out of tinder box. Never mind. This is a mess in here. What happened here? Shit. I don't know. Seriously, I don't know what the ha I don't know what the hell happened here. Seriously, it's like, it's like what the fuck, dude. I hear dogs. Daniel doesn't even give a crap. What the hell? Kind of an interesting crucifix. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Don't you kind of need like a little guy on it? Or actually nothing? Perfect. Hmm. I don't know about this, man. I'm kind of all over the place right now. Well, I should definitely go see what the pot of the stuff is going to be. Okay. I know. I know. I'm going all over the place. I'm going... <laughs> I'm going all over the place. I should probably stick to one area, see what happens, and then move on. What is this? I was hearing some weird shit. 
Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken. By thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left in considering all the hands it had passed. My journal is gone. What they want with my journal? They want to know about your secrets. Your zodiac, baby. Hit. <laughs> I like the gravity. It's gravity. All right, well, this is a place of wonder. Seriously, what the? What is it? Is this Daniel? Is this no way? This is Daniel's room, right? That fragrance, Damascus Rose. Found a crowbar. Don't know if be, but that'll be useful. Maybe that can help me break into that, uh, that, that lady screaming in there. 2nd of July, 1839. Okay. I received a letter today from I'm the sorry. Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. Oh. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Oh yeah, you should be worried about someone else, buddy, like you. Because you're going to get your ass... Like, what? Daniel. What? what? Still having nightmares, I see. Ah. Yes. I can't shake them. I can't jerk them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Damn it, Alexander. Can't come in here when man's doing his business. What the? Seriously, someone was coming in here. Taking my shit. Messing around with my stuff. I'm gonna burn that. Good. Well, I'm gonna take a nap. Come on. There we go. Yes. Oh, this is boring. Hello? Hmm. White shirts today. Cool. Hello. Tinderbox. Tinder bo hey, wait. They didn't take the tinder boxes. That's odd. Whoa. What did they just hold a box over here and just be like, smash with rock? They yeah, must have done that. I swear to you, that's exactly what they did. <laughs> they sound just like that. What's this? 3rd of July, 1839. Today, I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I'm sorry. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log of shit. detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. With crayon. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. I need more pictures. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. This he can do. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He shot them. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. What? His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Uh, uh. Probably fakes, replicas. That's what they are. You know, I think I'll just stay up here in the study. I'm gonna have to go down there into the bullshit area anyway. I mean, this was supposed to be the first area, right? 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 But I was like, screw you, game. 
I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. That, uh... What? What the hell? Either the taxidermist did a horrible job, or this might mean something. You stay there, demonic little rabbit. It's stuck due to a broken lock. I wonder what I could use to break it open. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Okay. Ah. The key. Please let it be here. Oh yeah, I do kind of need that key, don't I? Let me just close that. Hello? Anybody in? Hello? There's like an opera playing now. What the hell is this? Is that the- is that the- Oh shit. Tell me if you're naked. If you're naked, I won't look, and you can just go. But if you are naked... If you aren't naked, I'll definitely take a look at you. The hell? Okay. Well, it's probably him. 4th of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. Yeah. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. <gasps> the ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Yeah, that's right. It's all too strange. Just wait, wait till you get a load of naked man that keeps breaking down your door. Where's the rest of the pieces though? Dang, come on. Alright, so that's it. So where so where's the thing? What? What? Get out of my stop it. Okay. I think that's it. Did I get everything? I didn't find the key, did I? Oh look at that. Blah blah blah. Did I find the key? I don't think the key is in here. Closing in. Okay, Daniel. That's fine, Daniel. That's cool, Daniel. You, uh, you, 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 uh, have fun with that, Daniel. I think Daniel's losing it. Daniel, this is your conscience. Stop going ape shit. And buy some new clothes. Seriously, you have like the worst, like, sense of fashion. Alrighty. Painted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and later collapsed on the floor. He reached for the broken glass door and grabbed the sedatives he could find. A sedative would be nice. A sedative would be great. A sedative would be helpful to my brain. Pretty sure I didn't I didn't leave a torso out here. I mean, if I dragged the torso all the way over here, I would have noticed that, right? Right? Odd. 
I'm gonna go try out that, uh, that elevator now. Yeah. I'm gonna go try out that elevator. Uh, damn it. 